Hey everyone, it's Matt. I'm just sitting outside my mom's house here getting ready to install a TP-Link HS220 smart dimmer switch. Uh, this is the second TP-Link switch that she has, so I'm pretty excited to see how it's going to work with the other TP-Link switch. Um, this one is a dimmer switch. It's probably going to install the same way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you uh, the installation. I'm going to show you how it works within the CASA app. And then I just got her a Google Home Mini. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to hook it up with the uh, Google Home Mini and I'm going to hook up the other switch as well and show you how it works with voice commands. Let's go inside and check it out. Inside the box of the HS220 smart dimmer switch, you won't find much. You'll find the switch itself with the faceplate attached, some wiring stickers, you'll find some morettes or twisting wire connectors, and some instructions. That's pretty much it. The only thing I want to make you aware of here is that the faceplate is attached to the switch and you'll have to remove it. It's a pretty tight fit, but using a flathead screwdriver or a little patience, you should be able to jar it loose. I won't go too in-depth with installation talk, as it's fairly straightforward and we've done this a few times before. I'm also going to run the CASA app alongside, so you can see how in-depth these setup instructions actually are. You have to be running a device with iOS 10 or Android 5.0 or higher. There's an optional step from CASA to help you label your wires if they aren't color-coordinated. Ours are well enough color-coordinated, so we didn't use them during the review. Really, the main thing to remember here is to flip your circuit breaker off before you start playing around uh, so that you're not playing with live wires. If you're not comfortable working around wiring, you can always call an expert, including Geek Squad. Once you've removed the faceplate from the existing switch and unscrewed the switch itself, you can start to remove the existing switch and then uh, hook up the new one. One thing I need to stress here is making sure that your junction box has a neutral wire and you're not cutting any corners. If you don't have all the wires that this switch needs to operate, you might, at best, get power to the switch and can set it up in CASA, but you won't get power to the lights, which is what matters the most. This also happens if you install a non-single pole devices or light fixtures powered by two switches. You unfortunately can't do that, as neither switch will then power the lights. Alright, here's a quick look at what it looks like once it initializes. You'll see a Wi-Fi light come on, beckoning you to set things up. You'll need to feed it your Wi-Fi password, and then the rest takes care of itself. One really cool thing about this switch is, once you've set it up once, you don't have to do it again. If you decide to move this to your living room or kitchen or family room later on, you just have to reinstall it, and once it powers up, it'll retain the information to all you have to do is tell CASA what room it's in now. Let's take a look at operating the lights manually in CASA now. It's pretty simple. It's literally push button followed by your ability to tweak or fine tune it. The app comes with settings to allow you to auto-select 25, 50, 75, or 100%, while the slider in the app allows you to do whatever you'd like. The app will also allow you to set events or timers as you see fit, and allowing you to operate your lights remotely. One thing I do want to remind you of, though, is that your switch obviously always needs to be set for Wi-Fi, and you always need to turn on the remote control software settings to give it that additional access, especially with Google Home and Alexa. If your home has a Nest ecosystem, you can also use your Switch with Nest Away, and if you have an IFTTT account, you can utilize it there too. Alright, let's now take a look at the part I was most excited for, voice control. Okay, so I have a Google Home here, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to turn your lights on and off and control the dimmer using just your voice. Um, one thing that you're going to have to do is you're going to have to ensure that you go into the CASA app first, and enable the remote control setting on the um, on the software itself. Otherwise, when you go to coordinate your uh, Google Home app with your TP-Link devices, it is actually not going to recognize and you're gonna have a little bit of trouble until you do that. So what I've done is I've actually gone ahead and synced up the two. Uh, you can find some instructions on the blog or if you go to TP-Link's website, it'll show you how to do this and I'm just going to turn this on and off and activate the dimmer with my voice. Okay, Google, turn on my living room lights. You got it, turning on the family room dimmer switch. Hey, Google, can you dim my living room lights to 50%? You got it, setting the family room dimmer switch brightness to 50%. Okay, Google, can you set the family room dimmer switch lights to 10%? Sure, setting the family room dimmer switch brightness to 10%. Hey Google, can you set the family room dimmer switch lights to 100%? Sure, setting the family room dimmer switch brightness to 100%. Okay Google, turn off my living room lights. Okay, turning off the family room dimmer switch.
there's one more thing that I'm going to quickly show. So I actually have a, um, in addition to the TP-Link dimmer switch, we've actually got the kitchen lights um, on a TP-Link smart switch as well. So let's check this out. Okay, Google, turn on everything. You got it. Turning two things on. Okay, Google, turn off everything. Sure, turning off two things. One thing that it doesn't appear that you can do right now is set timers or um, give certain commands as to what time the light should come on. Uh, just watch. Okay, Google, could you turn my living room lights on at 9 p.m.? Sorry, I'm not sure how to help, but I'm learning more every day. Okay, a couple more quick things you can do with the switch here is you can actually predetermine before you turn the light on how you'd actually like or how bright you'd actually like the light to be. So you can see that the display is moving back and forth there. And so when you turn the light on, it'll already be set. And then obviously you can manually operate it throughout and then just shut it off. So that's a look at the HS220 by TP-Link, the smart dimmer switch now available at Best Buy and online at bestbuy.ca. Couple notes that I took down that I just wanted to share with you. Um, number one, just making sure that you are following all directions as written on the box. It says that you need a neutral wire. You absolutely do need a neutral wire to make it work. Um, making sure that you're installing this on a single pole switch. What that means is that if your light switch that you're looking to install this on is controlled by more than one switch, it's not going to work. What will end up happening is the 220 will get power and you'll be able to configure it in the Casa app, but the lights themselves will not power on. Uh, to that note, making sure that you're avoiding using a light switch where something's plugged into it. So for example, if uh, if it powers a plug that lights up a floor lamp, your results might be intermittent, if not at all. Um, if you do want to enable this with Google Home or with Alexa, making sure that you have um, turned on the remote control part of your Casa app. So there's a feature when you go to name your device that's a little slider called the remote control and uh, that will uh, dictate whether or not you're able to have this recognized by a voice assistant. And you might have noticed that I was powering on and off a second light switch during the um, during the Google Home demo. That was the HS200 that I reviewed actually about a year and a half ago. So I'll be linking that in the blog. Um, and if you want to look and see for any other TP-Link products you might be interested in, we've actually reviewed a fair few of them on the blog as well. Um, so this was the HS220 Smart Dimmer Switch, now available at Best Buy and online at bestbuy.ca. I'm Matt. Please subscribe to the channel for more reviews like this one. And uh, we'll definitely see you next time. Take care.